China's ambitious BRI project is now a top target of US, Australia and India and they look all set to destroy it. China's belligerence stems from the fact that its ambitious Belt and Road Initiative has spread its tentacles to nearly every continent of the planet. The BRI is China's backdoor tactic to fulfill its neo-colonial dreams. BRI and its debt trap diplomacy go hand in hand and by giving away multitudes of shark loans to poor countries in Africa and Asia, the dragon has usurped limitless power. However, the new world order comprising the likes of the US, Australia and India has risen to the menace of the Middle Kingdom. The trio is now looking to dismantle China's cowlish dreams of world domination one project at a time. The United States has taken the first swing at disemboweling China by taking out its major BRI player. The Trump administration has targeted the lifeline of BRI, the infamous China Communications Construction Company or CCCC, which has a confessed portfolio of 700 projects in more than 100 countries with overseas investments worth 170 billion US dollars. As reported by TFI yesterday, after the US flew spy planes over the Parasol Islands, the PLA Navy, threatened by the advances of Washington, fired four ballistic missiles in the disputed waterways to vent out its anger. The firing of the missiles was enough for Trump to rain down heavily on China, and he instantly responded by sanctioning 24 Chinese companies for helping China build military islands in the South China Sea. These companies include CCCC subsidiaries, and the sanctions have caused a severe jolt to Xi Jinping's BRI. The move to impose visa and trade restrictions on the CCCC subsidiaries is a statement of intent from the Trump administration. It shows how the US can cause irreparable damage to Xi Jinping's BRI, a trillion dollars project to establish Chinese hegemony in every corner of the world, from Latin America to West Asia and Africa, and from Europe to Asia Pacific. The US may in the future choose the CCCC subsidiaries involved in BRI projects around the world and sanction them at a breakneck speed. There's no doubt that the CCCC forms the fulcrum of China's BRI ambitions and going after it has been proven a masterstroke on part of Donald Trump and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. CCCC is the largest infrastructure provider in entire China in terms of the contract value from highways, expressways, airports, seaports, industrial parks, subways, property development to railroad projects. The China Communications Construction Company builds everything that you can imagine. While Trump goes after CCCC, the Scott Morrison government down under is bringing a foreign relations bill which would give Australia's federal government the power to review, prevent or terminate all agreements signed by the state and territory governments, local councils and even public universities with foreign governments if they are not in sync with Australia's foreign policy. The legislative move is targeted directly at the Australian state of Victoria's 107 billion US dollars BRI project signed with China last year. The Sinophilic Premier of Victoria has defended the project against all odds, but now China's hold over Victoria will finally loosen and Scott Morrison and his party will be able to quash China's predatory dreams. However, the effect of the legislation will go far beyond Victoria. Reported extensively by TFI, the communist state of China had made deep inroads into the Australian way of life from hoarding medical equipment to controlling the water bodies to owning the electrical grid of the country. China has done everything possible in the book to gain an edge over the Australian government in its own country. The China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, which is a subset of China's BRI, passes through Pakistan-occupied Kashmir and New Delhi has already shown with the abrogation of Article 370 that India is assertive about its sovereignty and aims to regain control of Indian territories illegally occupied by China and Pakistan. Last year, Union Home Minister Amit Shah had asserted in the lower house of India's parliament after the abrogation of Article 370 that POK and Aksai Chin are part of Jammu and Kashmir and thumpingly said we are ready to give our lives for it. And therefore, Xi's plans with Pakistan are staring at an ominous threat. The Maldives, an island country in Southeast Asia, was reeling under crushing debts of China due to the shark loans handed out to the radicalized previous regime of Abdullah Yameen. 
However, India, like a messiah, had swooped in and handed half a billion line of credit to the country and so far the Maldives government hasn't stopped thanking New Delhi for its generosity. Sri Lanka, after losing the Hambantota port to China through BRI, has realized that it was a huge mistake and now it has returned to India's fold and says that it will follow an India-first policy. With this, Xi Jinping's $1 trillion pet project is under serious jeopardy.